Grenade. Murder. Nightstand. TV shirt. <laughs> Brian, I started the, mm. the first one. You start this one. Hey, I hope you do it. <laughs> Episode two. Yeah. Can you believe it? I can't. We didn't die. <laughs> we yes. didn't. Uh, I'm Joe Paisley with a Y. That's real cute. Thank we're you. Gonna, we're going to start in with a Y thing again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, J-Y-O. Joe. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> Joey. Are you a baby kangaroo? I don't give a fuck. You can uh, carry me around in your pouch. That's gross. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm Joe with a Y, and you're Ryan with a Y. I'm Brian with an E. Okay, we're not going to switch this shit up right now. Okay. Uh, but before we get into today's show and setting up again for the ones that are just tuning in, we had a video sent in by listener Jeffrey Bystran or Bistran, and it's his daughter who has an alternate Can You Don't theme song. Here you go. Can you don't, 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 don't. Can you don't, 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 don't. Can you don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's better than the one you made. I know. So I just wanted to make sure that everyone knew uh, how talentless I am. Can we swap that out? Yeah, sure. Can you imagine if the show just started with uh, this cute little girl that can you mm-hmm. don't, 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 don't. And it's like, big dick sandwich. <laughs> what the hell did we just get into <laughs> right, right afterwards? Uh, so if you are joining us for the first time, we're just going to recap quickly what Can You Don't is all about. It's a weekly comedic podcast. Brian and I will dive into the depths of the internet, come back with the best and worst examples of humanity, mock ourselves because we're stupid, and then you guys send in stories. We talk about our lives. We look at dumb shit on the internet, and then hopefully we don't repeat it. That's really how it is. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple. And if you have something you want to see on the show, you can send that into hey guys at canyoudontpodcast.com. And in fact, I'm not sure if we even talked about this on episode one. Because we had to record in advance, which I will also address here in a second. But we do have merch available right now at canyoudon'tpodcast.com. We got t-shirts. I think we have a blanket. I think we have a mug. Right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. Can you believe it? With some, with some tasty shit. Logan, Logan's been working. <laughs> yes, he has. Good for him. Uh, Thanks, Logie. And then, yeah. So, so speaking of the recording schedule, because we have prior, I don't know, vacation stuff that was set up before we knew that we were going to be starting Can You Don't, Mm -hmm. we do have to record basically a month in advance by the time the first episode comes out. Through October, I believe is what we're doing. (laughs) Can you imagine? We have uh, 60 60 banked episodes. Uh, Things are happening. The world has ended and we're still talking about like it hasn't happened. It's uh, aliens are getting the receptions from Earth and it's just our podcast. Yeah, That's that's all they get for the Mm -hmm. representative of humanity, which is sad. No, but we have to record so far in advance that if there's something that we're doing that you don't like, we'll try to fix it in a month. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to it eventually. <laughs> right. It'll come back around, I promise. That'd be hilarious if we're just doing something and they're complaining about it and we're still like, they're not listening to us at all. Right. Like, we actually haven't heard it yet. Yeah, so give yet. us time. Yes, please do. Uh, you were just in New York. Talk yeah. about uh, the, the big uh, the big orange. We had my wife and I went on our 10-year reunion to New York. Ten We'd never reunion? been reunion? A reunion. <laughs> 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 re, re, uh, yeah, it was our <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> and we actually, it was funny the day we left for the anniversary, <laughs> she came in and she's like, she kind of, my alarm went off. She's like, good morning. Happy anniversary. I was like, oh, that's today. Oh, I knew we were going to be like spending time for our anniversary, but I mm-hmm. forgot that it was like on the day we were leaving. We had to leave early in the morning. Typical dad shit. Um, yeah, we were busy. So yeah, mm-hmm. we went to New York. Uh, we pretty much went all over the place and uh, for three days, and it was a lot of fun. We went to a Mariner game uh, against the Mets, which was really cool. Who won? Uh, the Mariners won. Yeah. And it was hot. The Woo. weather was hot, and it, the night before was cold and rainy, so we got a good day. Nice. Um, Last yeah, time lo- I was in New York, I was a, like a baby. I remember laying in the back seat being like, big buildings. Mm-hmm. I got to go back. Looking up at the buildings. Like, wow, those are taller sick. than all of Idaho. When we got there, it was all... Um, Foggy. So we basically couldn't see anything. We were walking through. So we're trapped in the big buildings. Then if you look out, mm-hmm. it was just fog. So I was like, this is sweet. Did you complain to anybody? Like no. little note, like little note cards on the like front office thing, like fuck this city. What's funny about fuck New York your fog, and then is like <laughs> you're very much on your own. When you go to the subway or you go to anywhere, the ride the train, mm-hmm. you don't just walk over to someone and be like, Hey, where can I get on? They're like, No, excuse me. Fuck off. You're like, no. Excuse me. There's a guy shitting in the corner and like, excuse me, sir. You know, <laughs> he's just me. like, 
Give me a minute. <laughs> He's just like fucking ripping out a deuce. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> How do I get to uh, Hamilton or whatever? He's like, <laughs> where's the nearest bathroom? If I knew, I'd tell you. <laughs> uh, it just smells like everywhere you go to the subway just smells like piss. Mm. And it's moist because it's humid. And so it's just like thick, heavy piss. <laughs> wow. But it's a great city. <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> great. We had a good time. Yeah. Uh, a lot of traveling. Um, <sighs> we flew back. Uh, when Sunday night, and we left later in the day, so we got back okay. late at night. And um, and it actually, it was funny because when we're we're flying, when we in Spokane and Seattle and Washington State, when we fly somewhere across the country, a lot of times you have to fly from Spokane, fly west mm-hmm. to Seattle, and then fly back east to where we were going. Yeah. In this case, that's what happened. We flew from New York, flew to Seattle, mm-hmm. and as we're flying, we're flying over Spokane. And we're, I'm thinking, talk, talking to Amber, like, our house is right down here. Let's get the fuck out Got of here. Got me thinking about last week's episode where the guy just was like, I'm out, right. sliding off the wing. Yeah. I wished I had an opportunity there. It was like a parachute or something. Just like, right. fuck it, we're out. Open the passenger drawer and slide out the wing. Just, and just, yeah, <laughs> land right in my backyard. Why don't they allow you to do that? Yeah. It's funny that you were thinking about that too, because I was stuck in traffic and I know there's, we're in Coeur d'Alene, there's not a ton of traffic, but it was going to be an extra five minutes on my commute. Mm-hmm. And I didn't like it. I wouldn't stand for it. I wasn't going to have nothing. But I got stuck in traffic, and I thought about that exact same story because I wish I could just get the fuck out of that situation. Mm-hmm. And I, like the guy pulled the the emergency slide and then just got out before everyone else. Yeah. And I thought how cool it would be if everyone had like an ejection seat oh. where I could just get the fuck out anytime of traffic. you wanted. Anytime you're sitting there, like oh god damn it, meeting is in ten minutes and just uh-huh. shake <laughs> and just blast out of your car. <laughs> Go back and get it later. Right. Get out of here. Just open the sunroof. And get out of there and go to your business meeting. Especially if you're riding, if you're a passenger in the car, and like <laughs> oh, we're we're going, to, we're heading to somewhere to lunch or something. Traffic, yeah. on, dude, I'm hungry. Sorry, <laughs> right. rip the cord. I'm at the restaurant. I'll I'll order your meal right. ahead of time, dude. I would love that in any situation that you didn't want to be a part of. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I start thinking about. Um, I don't know. Sure, let's talk about. You just got done with a one night stand. Okay, and there anyone who's ever uh, had some sex and Never. then at, oh. And then after you get done with the sex with somebody that you just met, there's that awkward moment where you're like, ah, fuck. Like, do I hug her? Do I stay? Do I hug? Do I do I leave? Do, do I, I ask her to make me a sandwich? Do I pay for this? Like, yeah, what do, what do I pay? What, what do I do? Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's just that awkward moment. And I just picture be like, okay. So anyway, I was thinking, just shake. <laughs> Put your pants on your shirt in your pack and then just rip the cord. You, you just bear hug your shit yeah. and then yank the cord and mm-hmm. bounce out of the ceiling. Bust through the ceiling. <laughs> just, yeah, so in the car, you'd be, you just, you're like, you're boo, and the, the sunroof starts to open uh-huh. up. Oh, you letting the lawyer in? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Rip, right. gone. <laughs> gone. Bye. And it's, and it's that, it's like when you record someone when they're parachuting and they, they look like they're flying backwards. <laughs> it's that exact motion. <laughs> You, you catch a gust of wind and you just take off. <laughs> Neighbor Steve comes over. He's like, oh, it's been a hot one. Uh, right. Yeah, fuck you, Steve. Crap, rank. Gone. You got time for this shit. Mm-hmm. Bye. Your kid starts telling you. Your wife yeah. Wife is like, hey, mm-hmm. uh, I was, we're, we're going to head out. We're doing these things. I was hoping that maybe you could do the laundry before. I, <laughs> or even worse, she's like, so today at work, <laughs> Janet asked me to do this thing. And then I yank. <laughs> See ya. See <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Going out with the boys. Yeah. Back in Bye. <laughs> Don't wait up. <laughs> Don't wait up. I'll be back when I can. Uh, but yeah, I, I love. I love that. Any situation, Any, just get it's out. just the yank cord, and just, you're gone. Mm-hmm. Just love. blast out of there. I don't care where it is. That guy had the right idea. He did, and we. I don't think we gave him the credit that he deserved. No, when we we covered it last week. Yeah, it was kind of a funny thing. But then, like, it was the afterthought. Like, oh yeah, shit. oh man, <laughs> all great. these great things you could have done. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing to just get the shit out. Oh, you're at like a kid's. I don't know about you, but there's this point right now where uh, a lot of sporting events for the kids, and they're fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. They're just not that great at sports yet. Right. Uh, And I would love to be like watching some shitty kid sport thing and be like, just deep breath and just look around and just. Just, well, it's, it's funny you say that because get out of there. I've actually been helping Miles' baseball team coaching. Okay, okay. and uh, I was I was just a you know I was watching in the beginning, and then I was like, ah, I feel like I could help these kids. And some of the kids are actually getting pretty good. And mm-hmm. I so I step in, I'm hitting grounders, sitting fly balls, and catching them. And there's some kids that are just they have have a clue. So it'd be one like if you're coaching a team and your your kid your 
team is just not performing well. Oh, yeah. Everyone's looking at you. You're like, dude, sorry, you're on your own. <laughs> right, just, yeah. Rink the court, take off. <laughs> Even Bye, better, coach. third base coach. Yeah. He's like, oh my God. He's, mm-hmm. He just takes off. <laughs> <laughs> like, score! What score! The fuck? Yank. <laughs> right. Gets he he waves someone around third base. And he gets tagged out at home. So he's like, oh shit! And just yeah, he takes his off. Ejection cord and gets the fuck I'm out. I'm responsible for this one. I know. <laughs> God, it's it's funny. Like we could do a whole show just on situations or where you'd want to get the hell out of. Uh huh. Like this but, one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like just let's get out of this conversation. <laughs> Yank. <laughs> Yank. See ya. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. I uh, before we do get into the show today. We mentioned last week that we want Logan to have a chance to introduce himself. Mm -hmm. We talked about us. uh, No idea who Logan is. So, Logan, tell us about yourself, buddy. Sure. What do you Uh, do with your life? Well, as it says here in my notes, I'm a hillbilly from (laughs) Indiana. (laughs) You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I do do love Toto. They're Uh arguably the greatest band of all time. Mm -hmm. Arguably. Um, Well, I'll argue till my my cheeks turn blue. Sure. Which Um, cheeks? The left one. Cool. My right one's kind of numb right now. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I do work with Joe at Bad Magic Productions, and I've been there for, what, like two and a half years now? Something like Some, that. Something like that. Yeah. Um, I do have a wife. Uh, she was a high school sweetheart. We've been together Aww. for going on 16 years. Jeez mm, Louise. And we have three kids, uh, Simon, Arlo, and Oliver. It's too many. It's too many kids. It's a lot of kids. It's too many boys. Too many. Oh yeah, they're all boys. They're all boys. Oh jeez. Lots, lots of future testosterone in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you have to start beating them up. <laughs> start start kicking the shit out of them. Easy now. I uh, then yeah, I love having you hop over here to do and produce. Can you don't? So thank you very much. Yeah, sir. man. Well, thanks for including me. I'm of course. really pumped about what we've got going on. Excited mm-hmm. for the new adventure and. I'll try not to chime in too often, but I will from time to time. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, that was it. Great. So, yeah, never gave you the chance to do that on episode one, so you want to do it right now. Does that sound good? good. Welcome, Logan, to the team. <laughs> Welcome, buddy. Love Glad to be here. Love having you here. <laughs> All right, let's just get the show rolling. You, uh, rolling. Like, rolling? Keep rolling. What I say? Yeah. I don't know. Rowan Atkinson. Do it! Hey, shut up. Start the show already. All right, so for episode two, we once again... Have a would you rather. Then this one is a tough one. Are you ready? Yes. Would you rather have to brutally murder your entire family every night, but they don't remember it all. They, they do not remember it at Jesus all. Christ. And they wake up feeling refreshed. Or forget how to read. Uh, the music <laughs> that you chose to read that to is like my <laughs> family, kill, kill my kids and stop. <laughs> Go to stop my wife. my family. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, that is awful. <laughs> <laughs> that song's playing while you're murdering your family. <laughs> Reminds me oh. of American Psycho. What song was he playing when Christian Bale was killing I've, his? I've Huey never Lewis seen the news. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Huey Lewis. Huey Louie. That I oof. <laughs> oof oof oof. I that mean, one. Oof. Okay, so the, my first thought here, Joe, is that on paper, yeah, you you line these two things up: murder your family. Forget how to read. Right. On paper, it's an obvious choice, right? Right. Forget how to read. Oh. <laughs> I, okay, I was going to go with murder my family. <laughs> well, I, I, mean, I, I that, thought that it too, seemed obvious. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, I'm kidding. Obviously, it's uh, forget, not forgetting how, to, or forgetting how to read. But. Right. Here's the thing. Oh, God. I can't believe I'm even going to say this. As much as it would suck to kill your family, that mm-hmm. first time that you have to do it, it would just be the worst thing ever right oh, i mean it's it like be, can you i mean i, I can't even imagine it no i can't you'd even be, picture you'd going be down. crying yeah you sick to your stomach er, oh i like i like I, i'm starting to get little like i gotta poop thinking about it my sure. stomach's turning <laughs> but the next time you do it it's still awful <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a real hard task yeah for a handful I mean, of you're years chopping away i mean that's it's gonna be it's gonna be brutal mm-hmm. but like anything else the more you do something the easier it gets, and the better, time and the better heals, at it, and you, you get. better get at it. It's like <laughs> yeah. the first time it's going to be messy. You know what they say? You what know? a thousand hours? Exactly. Is what you it become takes a professional. professional at it. Yeah. So, so you're going to need mean, at least a thousand hours <laughs> to become a pro at killing your family. <laughs> oh there's going to there's gonna be a point when you're so used to it that it's like it, you're not even thinking about it anymore. Mm-hmm. Where it's it's just so easy. It's like it's just part of the routine. Like you just do this. And Good night. 
<laughs> right. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. Like you're, in the beginning, you're not going to know what to do, but by then you're going to you're going to have a system down. It's going to be very easy. It's going to be like one. Well, it's like brushing your teeth. <laughs> right. You you go in the bathroom, brush your teeth. You know, you do brush whatever. Your teeth, kill my kid. Kill my kid. You know, <laughs> right. family, and then lay your head down and go to sleep. <laughs> right. But the thing about this though, there's going to be times like after after it gets to a point to where you're like you can deal with it. Mm-hmm. I think I think you might start looking forward to it if Whoa. I can if I can. Jesus, Brian. Just hear me out. Hear me out. So, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Logan's laughing. What is happening? Well, it's not that I want to do this, but just imagine We're learning like, a lot about you. Go ahead. Imagine put yourself in these positions where like you your kids just drove you nuts. Mm-hmm. And they're like, what are you going to do that? They're cussing you out and mm. all this. And you can't do anything. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, and you, you know, like so you want to hit your kids. And you're like, I can't. I'm not that kind of person that's mm. going to do that. But knowing you get to slash them up later on <laughs> when they're when they're yelling in your face and fuck you and you can't tell me what mm-hmm, to do and you're mm-hmm. like okay ha- get it all out get it all out, get there, it buddy. All out because later tonight <laughs> you ring, ring, ring. Daddy, yeah, daddy's getting the chainsaw <laughs> and, I, and as you uh, mentioned you'll just get more and more used to it and so eventually it's going to become like a fucking chore yeah. so you're at work all day. You're exhausted. The boss has been riding your ass all mm-hmm. week. The last thing you want to do is go home and kill your family. <laughs> like you're, you're so over it. You're like, oh my god, can I, can, can I just have one night just to myself? One night to myself. Yeah. One night where I don't have to fucking kill anybody. <laughs> and he's just so fed up with it. But you'd get so efficient. You like would. we talked about, you like would. you would be, um, you'd be like, all right, good night, and then like have some kind of weird uh, gauntlet, right. like uh, you know, just guillotine, yeah, guillotine, uh, drop a bed of nails from the ceiling. Mm-hmm. All right, love you, good night, and then kill him, then run off to the other room and kill the other kid. Well, so th- I think that's the thing you'd have to do. Like, if if it got to the point to where you just didn't want to do it, you'd have to get creative, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you'd have to start thinking of different oh, like you're, ways. you're so bored, you're starting to mix it up? Yeah, you're like, <laughs> oh, God, this and, is so bad. I know, I know. That's like, you have to... Uh, my wife <laughs> my is just, not... She's going to skip past this. Am I, I know just going to cut their arms off again? <laughs> right. Oh, done Come it. Come on. <laughs> Been there. Been saw there, that. Saw that. Dumb. I mean, you'd be watching... Like, you'd be watching some horror movies to get some inspiration. Like, mm-hmm. speaking of Saw, but like... You'd get brutal, right? Like you start watching movies. Like, what can I do? <laughs> what did this guy do in this movie that he seemed like he enjoyed it? Yeah, because <laughs> you gotta get some. Like, you gotta get some Dude, enjoyment out of it the because they do, they don't. <laughs> oh, I didn't come up with the question. I'm just. I um, didn't. No, you, you wrote. You it. put a microphone no, in my face. You're like, answer this question. This is the first thing you showed up to the show. You said, "I'm not doing this yeah. unless you talk about killing my family." Yeah. And I said, all right. It was in the contract. We'll do it once. We'll do it. And this is so. We'll get it out of the way. Ha- time to shine, Brian. Tell yeah, us this more. is. <laughs> yeah. Killing your family. Go ahead, bud. <laughs> Go ahead. Take it over. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> fuck you. If I have to do it, <laughs> right? You. I'm forced to do it, right? Yeah. It's not like I have a choice. <laughs> no, you don't. I guess I could learn, forget how to read. read. I yeah. guess I could do that. Which would be absolutely terrible. And before yeah. we jump over and take a look at uh, forget how to read side of this, okay. which would be, I would hate. It would suck. Dude, be it would a nuisance. be so bad. You have to remember that the part of this question does say that they wake up feeling refreshed. Okay. So if you don't kill them, you're being pretty fucking selfish. Oh, because they could wake up groggy. The, the best they've ever felt. They could or, wake up all, They could have nightmares. They could wake up all night, be tired the whole next day. Right. Unless you just kill them. So quit being a little fucking baby. And kill your wife. So there, yeah, you're actually selling it to me even more because, like, you're doing your family a favor, right? <laughs> yes. Because if you don't, maybe they have night terrors or they have so sleepwalking. There's something that like disrupts their sleep, mm-hmm. so they wake up and they're like, "I don't want to go to school." Or, oh my god, I'm so tired. Uh, work is going to be terrible today. Yeah. So, so and then if they wake up and they're tired. And you don't know how to read. Right. So you take a mallet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. They wake up. You don't know how to read and they're tired. It's a fucking lose-lose. But if you kill them, they wake up feeling the best they've ever. Whole new day for them. Mm-hmm. And then you just have to live with the the knowing that you just killed your family over and over again for the, the rest of the your fucking life. The thing is, though, you would start, you'd be like, well, I know they're going to wake up feeling refreshed. I know I did them a favor. Yes, yeah. So now you're looking at yourself like, I'm doing them a favor. This exactly. is a positive thing. This is exactly what serial killers say. And I I actually just started picturing myself like dressed up as Gallagher with the watermelon. <laughs> yeah. But just like going into each room. And going, <laughs> 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 and, instead of the watermelon splattering everywhere. It's... <laughs> 
And you know how I'm not gonna say it. As a parent, uh, how precious those nighttime hours are. You get the kids in bed. Oh yeah. You have a couple hours yeah. or whatever it is to watch just whatever you want to watch. Be an adult again. Yeah. And not be dealing with uh, other people's bullshit. Sure. So I do picture uh, just because it it just came out, so I'm thinking about it right now. But like Stranger Things. Okay. So it came out. It's a Friday night. And you don't have a whole lot of time when you really want to start watching the mm-hmm. whatever, season four of Stranger Things. So you have to rush through your killing practices. Right. You're like, oh my God, my you, you, you do prayers tonight? No, I'm going to do fucking prayers. Like run to the next room. Anyway, good night. Good night. Like there's no time. No time to waste. You got to get it in. You want to see at least three episodes. You got to wake up early for work tomorrow. So you you get in bed with your wife. She's like, hey, baby, I love you. Yeah, shut up. Cover her fucking Shoot the pillow, the fucking <laughs> pillow and ether. Just yeah. <laughs> well, what's funny is like tonight we're skipping dinner, okay, kids? You're trying to speed mm-hmm. everything that your normal routine. It's bedtime. Like, it's yeah, four no o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> like, we need to get a good night's sleep tonight. <laughs> In the back of your mind, you're thinking, "Oh, I just want to watch the show." Like, Why? Why don't we have to eat? Dad? Yay, Daddy! We don't have to eat dinner tonight. <laughs> right, yeah, just give him a bowl of Go ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. You can have a snack in bed or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't really care. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. And I think that is the pivotal point in this is that they wake up feeling refreshed. Like you are doing them a favor. Yeah. It is a it is a terrible nightmare of hell if you're not, unless you're a murderer. Yeah. This would be a super super easy. Would you rather if you're like oh my god if there's a way I can get away with killing a whole family every night and feel good about it? Yeah. You, well, you've actually, already solved all of this. So you actually, you kind of preface the whole thing like making them get a good night's sleep. Because mm-hmm. as parents, we really just, all we do is sacrifice for our kids anyway, right? I'm sacrificing my sanity <laughs> knowing that I'm murdering my family every night, but they're waking up feeling refreshed. So I'm putting that on my shoulders. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm doing, being a man I'm just up. manning up and mm-hmm. I'm being a good dad. By killing my family. Yeah. Bingo. I I'm it, sold. <laughs> dude, I'm so yeah, forget I mean, forgetting how to read, someone has to follow you around, go into a restaurant, I'll have the fucking <laughs> fucking uh, uh what's your special? To that ha- one. <laughs> I'll have that. Because you can't do anything. You can't travel. You can't read to your kids good night. Nope. Text messages? Mm-hmm. Don't dead. Fuck you. You're out. Email, like everything you do in your daily life. You, if you can't read, someone has to be with you at all times. I think to we read underestimate you. reading, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Like if you think, I've never really thought about it like that. But how many times you actually do read throughout Just the tiny day? Tiny little things what? everywhere. It could be a new. It could be you're driving down the road and you don't know what the street name is because <laughs> you can't read it. Yeah, you cannot travel. The, yeah. the whole world traveling, or thing. someone has to travel. It's like the blind person having a, a person with them. Mm-hmm. Like you have to have that. Yeah, you have to have someone who can read. <laughs> oh god hope you hope that but the, at least at least the requirements are pretty low like so if yeah. you're if you're blind you have to have like a service dog and there's a lot of testing and training that goes into that if you can't read you just need someone who knows how to read <laughs> yeah <laughs> and there's a lot of those yeah but you're a big doofus like, i mean you at are some the point, worst your kids all you gotta do is if you're if you're not murdering your kids and <laughs> you're you just don't can't read they can read they, they can read for you do you want your kids following you around everywhere no, I'd want to murder shopping. <laughs> going shopping, can't don't know what prices are. Yeah. Like it's not you can't learn. You don't know a little bit. You know nothing. Mm-hmm. None of these words, like, none, none of the letters make any letters sense. Letters don't to you. make sense no. to you. It's all just a big fucking mess. Yeah. And that sounds terrible. So kill But off. you sleep good at night. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. If you're fine with not reading. <laughs> <laughs> it's, what's it funny could, about it could this traumatize thing, you forever. It's it's if you had to make the choice of you're like, okay, I won't learn how to read because I don't want to murder my family, or if you just had to, if you, <laughs> if those things were like independent of each other, Fine. you didn't know one, the, the other one was an option, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. put a gun to your head, which one are you picking? Uh, I just take that gun from him and shoot my family. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm like, hey, while you're pointing a gun at me, will you just kill my family? <laughs> <laughs> they, I'm they, tired. They have a big day tomorrow. Yeah, they, they have, have a big. big day. We just killed my family. Well, actually, okay. So you have to murder your family, or can you be like Manson and recruit a cult <laughs> that kills your family? So now you're like in the living room. No, I think you have to do it. You can't outsource your murder. Cause, is, <laughs> well, because he never actually killed anybody, right? Like he went to jail no, for. He, no, he just made he just made other people do it. <laughs> you're sitting on the couch watching a show, turning the volume up so you can't hear the slash right. going on in the bedroom. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Trying to watch Stranger Things. Keep it down. (laughs) Sorry. 
<laughs> Opens the door. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. He's just got <laughs> he's, he's just got <laughs> like the, the plastic suit on with right. blood everywhere. Sorry about that, Brian. Sorry. Sorry, I'm doing my best. <laughs> he kind of saw it coming tonight. I don't know how. I'm trying my best. It's so, so awful. That would be the worst. I know. If they knew it was coming. Mm. There's no, yeah. I mean, they have to forget. <laughs> what if they didn't forget? Well, no. And now you have to just chase your family around and kill them. <laughs> if, they, if they knew <laughs> doing this for at, you. at eight o'clock every night, <laughs> but they knew they were going to wake up refreshed, would they want to get murdered? I don't know. This is so <laughs> fucking psychotic. It really is. Um, I can't believe we're having this conversation. No matter how psychotic it is, I think I'm going to kill my family. <laughs> yeah, I think I Because then t- at least I have a life I can read. Right. I want to be able to read. Um, I want to help my family. I'll just kill them. You're you're helping your family by murdering them, so mm-hmm. I'm going to choose that one too. Great, because I'm Perfect. I want to be a good dad. Yeah, I, I stri- That's all I ever wanted to be in life was a good dad. And sometimes a good dad has to kill. That's right. Family. That's right. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the more you know. Yep. All right, so fucking let's kill him. Okay, man, that was a tough one. Yeah, it's hard to think about. I hope we don't look too bad. Come off too bad, but. Oh, we I mean, do. All I'm doing is answering the question. I'm not. There's plenty of people. You're doing them a favor. Yeah. And I think if you really think about it and you can't read anything, just kill them. Well, and it's going to be. Even know. You're going to be an annoying person. If you can't read, you're like, hey, can you read the menu to me? <laughs> right. So I can either be a good dad, murder my family, mm-hmm. and have them feel refreshed. I'm doing a thing. Or I can be an annoying guy who can't read. <laughs> right. I mean, nobody one, wants to be that guy. One sucks. And one's, I mean, pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, and looking forward to the creativity. Like, it's going to expand your brain. It's right. How am I going to kill my wife tonight? Yeah. That's kind of fun. We should move on. Yeah, we should. All right, let's move on to the next one. We're going to go to, uh, what are you thinking about? You ready? Yeah. All right. Logan! Hey. Hey, what's up, babe? What are you thinking about? Uh, you know, nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about a lot of shit. What are you thinking about? And I didn't talk about what the last segment was, but that's where we're going to start with the question. Doesn't matter what it is. Could be a, a would you rather, just a general question, a fuck, Mary kill, two truths and a lie or whatever that game is. That is what that is. So what are you thinking about is just anything that you or I are thinking about. Okay. And there could be times that listeners will send in things that are intriguing that they're thinking about, and we'll put it right here. Uh, but a tie-in kind of to our would you rather is what I'm thinking about today is this time that I was scared awake. And it changed my relationship with my son forever. And I'm going to tell you about it right now. Did you, you, Are you did ready? You leave, yeah. I, I didn't kill him. him. Okay. I didn't kill him. Okay. He's still alive. You know him. We, we miss him because he usually helps yeah, us set up the studio. Yeah, he's usually helping us. Yeah. So uh, my son, Ezra, he has autism. And he loves, he gets up a fucking ton throughout the middle of the night. Especially a couple years ago. It didn't matter if it was uh, me at home, if it was Aaron at home, if it was both of us at home. He would wake up, oh my God, between midnight and six o'clock in the morning, he would probably wake up six times. Mm. It was Imagine awful. if he was dead. You I wouldn't know. It wouldn't best, happen. Best sleep of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but he would wake up all the time, right? Uh, and so, he, and he still wakes up so early. There'll be times that he... Just a couple days ago, he started his day at fucking 4.15. Uh, And luckily, at this point, he's gotten to the age where he will go out and like he loves watching YouTube videos. So he'll look up motors and train tracks and train crossings and fucking sirens, you know, and other autistic stuff. (laughs) Uh, And he he fucking loves it. Mm -hmm. And he'll do that until we wake up a couple hours later. And 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 then tell you all about it. And tell you all. This is what I did. You walk out and you're getting a briefing Mm -hmm. on sirens from japan <laughs> and you're like i don't okay fuck. you're ordering it off you're ordering one but a couple <laughs> hours like, later i know he's trying to buy me or trying to talk me into buying him an actual gigantic scoreboard uh like for a, for an arena right now um <laughs> okay. i'm trying to explain a that high I, school I, football field yeah, scoreboard. i can't do that uh, and he doesn't quite understand why I can't do that. Mm-hmm. He's like, but you could because it's right here and it's for sale. Yeah. I'm like, where the fuck are we putting a big scoreboard, bud? In the backyard. Uh, he's like, exa- He has all the answers and I'm just, it's hard. It's break, break, breaking my heart. Yeah. Breaks my heart to break Get his him a little one. <laughs> it's, he, he's not going to, come on. <laughs> it's a waste of fucking money. He'll be like, cool, dad. Thanks for the tiny scoreboards, you fucking loser. <laughs> uh, so anyway, he would wake us up a ton throughout the night. And so... <laughs> I will always remember this because I felt so bad in the look on his face. Well, he was f- terrified, straight up terrified. So I'm laying there. I'm in bed. I don't really know what time it is. It probably was between four and five o'clock in the morning. And he, in my defense, made the mistake of giving me a rough 
like shoulder tap to wake mm. me up. He goes, Dad, and like pushes me. So I jolt awake and just fucking shove him into the nightstand, <laughs> thinking that he's gonna rob me or fucking kill me. I don't know who it is. Which makes sense. He, you don't know who it he is. He goes, Dad, I go, Rah! and he's fucking <laughs> crap. And I throw him into the lamp. Like a hard push, and he just goes <laughs> like slams into it, oh and he goes, God. "Dad, why'd you do that?" <laughs> oh, no. And he starts bawling. I'm like, "Fuck, dude! Like you can't, you can't do that. Right? You can't do that." He's like, I "Fuck, hate you." And he, he doesn't swear, but he's like, "It's just so mean. I can't believe you just hit me." I'm telling mom. I'm like, "No, <laughs> like, mom's right here. Up. Shut up." <laughs> right. Actually, I think she was gone. So anyway, that moment when. <laughs> From the, I mean, ever since then, from the, it's been years, it's been a couple, maybe two or three years since this moment. Guess who he doesn't wake up anymore? <laughs> yeah. or, or from a distance, at least. Like, he's no, like, no, he, no, he will not. He wake won't even come up. in the door. Like, Dad, no, no. Nope. There's if, a guest. If, if, if my right, <laughs> if mom, if uh, if mom is waking or sleeping, and if we're both in there sleeping, he will go to her side of the bed and be like, Mom, and wake her up every single time. And if she's working and I'm in there, he doesn't even come in. Like, he won't even wake me up anymore. He's going to remember that his <laughs> entire life with I, his I brain. Felt so bad, but in a way, fucking I win. Yeah. Like, now I get to sleep in right, true. a couple a couple extra hours, and all it took was throwing him into the nightstand one time. It's kind of one of those things. You just got to let him know, like, you know, this is... I'm I'm fucking wild animal. Right. I got dad strength. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then... And then, yeah, I mean, it's like you don't have—you'll never have to to do that again. You'll have to be—you you don't have to do it one time. Mm -hmm. And just and one of those lessons, just uh, one of those moments, we're just absolutely terrified him enough that he will no longer wake me up. So it, it's kind of like it's it's good because you get to sleep, but at the same time, it's kind of like I scarred my kid so bad <laughs> right. that he won't even approach me in bed. I mean, but it's never a good time to. No, it's a, a lesson in life. Don't wake people up. Obviously, what You're he big. did wasn't right. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> And he deserved everything he got. Daddy, but. <laughs> and if you know my son, he was probably just being like, good morning. Yeah. Good morning. The just sun is I, shining. I, yeah. Sun's out. I found this really cool whack. <laughs> right. He goes, dad, just, <laughs> <"Wah!"> <laughs> <laughs> just ping. Like it, it made the perfect noise uh -huh. that you'd want a kid hitting a nightstand to make. <laughs> Just like like that. If, if you looked up a sound bank, <laughs> kid hitting nightstand, <laughs> that's exactly like, like the, the lamp shook. Like it was uh, a, right, just uh, why'd you <laughs> just like, oh my god. Um but eh. if you ever actually eh, <laughs> if you made that noise, that might have been better. <laughs> you just like tap, 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 <laughs> eh. <laughs> slam them into the night. <laughs> eh. <laughs> uh, have you ever accidentally hurt your kids? Uh not nothing terrible when my our oldest was young. I remember t uh, my wife, the way she was carrying him one time, and I was like, make sure you're getting a good grip on it, because she was kind of doing some stuff, and she, you know, <laughs> I don't know what, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is this? Picture, she's kind of so like, she's, she's, like hold, she's <laughs> holding the baby. She was doing dance moves with the baby in her arms. <laughs> well, she's doing things like moms do when they're holding a baby, you know they're, hold like, a baby? <laughs> they're like doing... 20 <laughs> things all at once. Oh, okay. <laughs> I keep this movement. I don't know why I'm doing. putting dishes away. Doing what is stuff. She fucking tickling and stuff. Like, <laughs> she's, yeah, she was tickling me. <laughs> right. I'm like, dude, <laughs> put the baby down. We, yeah. <laughs> this is creepy. Uh huh. Um, so she, you know, she had the baby. She was doing a bunch. Of, I went right back to that move again. But uh, I don't even know. What are you, she cleaning? Like glasses? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the fuck she's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, putting dishes away, cleaning, doing whatever. But they do it with, you know, the baby on it. Yeah. So I remember thinking like, you know, you really, it make me nervous. So we were You're camping one nervous. time and I was holding her baby and I was having a conversation with somebody and our kid lunged forward and he jumped basically jumped out of my arms went head first into there was like a fire pit and I had, <laughs> and I, luckily he didn't hit the actual fire pit he hit the dirt of the fire pit oh, but i remember picking him up and, and there was like from the night before there was coal like a uh, wood charcoal yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. and it's just like a circle where it's just black oh, no. right over his face and that was the i dropped him that was the only time i dropped him okay but he hit he hit kind of soft it was dirt and grass so mm -hmm. it wasn't like on the pavement <laughs> right but then we, you know, we, you have to we, yourself, I have two Brian. boys that we wrestle. So I'll, you know, like, oh, I'll yeah, it always gets out stunners of or pile drivers or something. Sure. No, yeah. no one's been seriously injured, though. Mm, good. Logan, you ever hurt your kids on accident? Uh, I mean, a little bit. Cool. 
Yeah. Do you want to talk mean, about I'm it? Super yeah. abusive. No. <laughs> He's now, like, yeah, a little bit. One time, I threw I remember, my kid out the <laughs> second story window. Yeah. No, I remember putting Oliver down. <laughs> just it wasn't me, but I like is like you you let it happen on your watch, so you feel guilty. Yeah. But I remember we had a split level once, and there was like six stairs that when you walk into the entrance that goes down to the basement. He was like really into jumping, and okay. so I was like, "Yeah, go for it." And he jumped down those stairs as soon as I put him down. Mm-hmm. And he, the way he landed, <laughs> he just kind of like fro- landed and then frog jumped into the bathroom door and hit his head. <laughs> oh, it was just, no. it was funny but sad. Yeah, I mean that just comes with parenting. I think every single person has a story about their uh, accidentally hurting their children, and I, and I fucking I love to hear it. So. And you know, it's not it's not a serious injury. It's one of those ones where. I mean, not yours, but <laughs> fuck you. yours, yeah, yours is downright you you know, think, you child think, abuse. But you think shoving a kid into a nightstand is worse than dropping your kid in the like on the dirt, the fireplace? I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you think I just meant to? Sh- I think you're dreaming about it. You're just waiting for an opportunity. You weren't even sleeping. I just like open my I, daddy. Like he's yeah. doing it like the correct way, daddy. I, yeah. just, I don't want to. And I just wait for him to get a more and, and more and more chance. aggressive. And just <laughs> smash him into the nightstand. Oh, oh, oh no! I no. didn't know that was you. Oh my god! I thought it was a burglar. <laughs> right. And then sound, you're like, now daddy gets to sleep all night. Does sound like bullshit. Worked out for me. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's move on. And look at some dick. Oh yeah, show me okay. that dick, Logan. Will you roll it, please? Is it dumb? Is it interesting? So, dick, dick is a segment that stands for dumb, interesting, or cool. But it also allows us to say dick, which is pretty fun. Yes. I, but if it's dumb, interesting, or cool, Brian and I will find it and bring it into the show. And you guys get to, to laugh about it. And I'm going to start with my story for this week. And I found this to be quite entertaining. Sad, but not that sad. You ready? Yeah. Three wounded, wounded as policeman pulls grenade pin to show how it works in Pakistan court. He Whoops. Demonstrated so, <laughs> in court? <laughs> At least three people were wounded after a policeman pulled a hand grenade pin in a court to demonstrate how it works. It's been reported. The incident took place in the court of Karacha, Karachi, I believe, city, after the judge asked the officer how the device could be detonated. First of all, where the fuck you been, judge? Yeah, seriously. Right? What is that? <laughs> what is this? Whoa, is this new? Wow. Is this a new iPhone? <laughs> no, it's a fucking grenade. According to the local media reports, the police officer was presenting the evidence in a high profile terrorism related case as the police forces had confiscated the grenade, among other cache of weapons. The officer believed the grenade had been deactivated. Report said, of course, you were fucking weird if you didn't, adding that the courtroom was cleared in the aftermath of the explosion. The bomb disposal unit was alerted. They came there and took people to the nearby hospital for emergency medical treatment. And then here's a part of the uh, article that I have a, a little bit of a problem with. The trial was suspended for the rest of the day. You Fucking, think? You think? <laughs> fuck, cool. <laughs> Can you imagine if it wasn't? Yeah. They're like, hey, the judge is like, Jesus Christ. There's limbs all over get, the place. Get, get those bloody people out of mm-hmm. here. Well, he's got a new bailiff, force in here. Bailiff. bailiff get those bloody idiots out of here. <laughs> anyway, testimony. He's like, d- 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 like beating the gavel trying to get these, these, uh, he's like, they're picking up arms and legs. <laughs> he's like, oh my God. I'm going to hold that arm in contempt. <gasps> he's like, I got, I got somewhere to be. He's got dinner plans and <laughs> yep. shit. No uh, recess today. But I've always been a fan of that type of journalism or mm-hmm. that type of reporting where they state the super obvious oh, shit right. and I know they're just doing their job but yeah. like it'd be the exact same if this guy who was reporting was like and now they have to fix a hole in the floor from the mm-hmm. grenade it's like yeah, yeah we know yeah, we, <laughs> we figured that we figured as much we piece that together <laughs> but for them to be like they suspended they suspend a court for the rest of the day <laughs> it's like okay no got it got it just go ahead and where's the editor just go ahead and zip a button, cross that one off because we know we get it. It's like we got to tell you because we don't want to get asked later. Now, did they suspend court later? Um, actually, <laughs> actually, yeah, yep. it appears that they did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Some think- asshole uh, writing in always right. uh, like you know, letters to the editor. Mm-hmm. He's like, I, I heard, I read your story about the guy who pulled the pin on the grenade in the courtroom. Did they keep doing court? <laughs> yeah. Did they? Did, <laughs> they, did they keep going in the courtroom? There, it's, it's the same guy. So yeah. they're actually this entire network is writing for fucking Gene. Mm-hmm. 
Jiminson's. This is his name. Gene Jiminson's. Gene, okay. Gene Jiminson's. And he just, he, oh, he's, he's an idiot. But they're, they're writing these little things in there so that he doesn't write into the newspaper. They have to have a full time position just replying to his, <laughs> his inquiries. So they're, maybe they're just thinking ahead. Maybe Gene's just a piece of shit. And they're like, okay, well, Gene's going to call or Gene's going to write in. He's going to ask if court continue that day after the grenade. <laughs> they had to put that into the budget for the job description. <laughs> Fucking $50,000. Whole, it's, a, it's a whole career. Yeah, he's got, he's got medical, all that kind of stuff. Uh, what's he's the position for? Uh, reply to Gene. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I used to work in TV news, and we used to get weird emails all the time about oh, that kind of stuff too. Sure did. Like they would just call. They would they would write in and say things like, "Oh, uh, the um, the the reporter was wearing too low cut of a shirt." And they would just complain about that, like she's right. showing too much cleavage. Uh-huh. Like just, and you, there was a person that had to respond to those emails of like just in straight insults of the people that were reporting. Do you Not know why, like, oh, that wasn't a good job in the story. Is why is she wearing that shirt? Right. Uh, you know why I did never have that job? Because I could send back pictures of titties. Mm. Like, that's what I would do. Like that was too mm-hmm. low cut. You mean like this? And just huge <laughs> just fucking knockers. boobs. Right. The biggest. A gif. Of them doing like just a good boy, like just bouncing. Clapping. You mean kind of like this? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I never was uh, hired in that position. Yeah. Um, have you ever been demonstrating something and had it go wrong? No. Because I have I have one that I will I will remember that include uh, that involves my son again. That made me look pretty stupid. I don't have anything. I just I'm picturing this guy like why can't he just here's the pin. Once <laughs> right. this pin comes out. Uh-huh. Now it's live. Well, <laughs> like, why do you have to go through the motion? I've had I've had a grenade uh, in my lifetime, but it was dead. But it had the pin and it had the little metal cap thing that would pop off and right. be fucking sweet. Mm-hmm. But if you look at the bottom, it's drilled out. Okay, so it's not that. I think that's kind of what you have to do. You have to have an opening on so the bottom. So he didn't look to see. He must not have. And just what was going through his head? Why was he doing this? He's like, uh, <laughs> actually, you know what? I blame the fucking judge. Yeah. She's like, whoa, what is that? Well, <laughs> yeah. Your Honor, like, no one in any other courtroom on the planet, you wouldn't have had to demonstrate what a grenade was. Right. But this guy's like, hmm, <laughs> never seen one of these before. How's that work? And he's like, you kidding me? It's <laughs> All you do is take the fit. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh my God. He just reaches over on the table and grabs like some random grenade like this. He just fucking pulls and it. And then he, once he realizes <laughs> what he did, right. he's like, well, if you take this, you go, oh, <laughs> oh shit. shit. And then it's like the cartoon. Right. <laughs> like, did he throw it or it did it go? Say. Is he was he hurt? The guy that I would assume so. Like his if his you, was arm. If you thought a grenade was not active, you would be holding it, right? <laughs> you would you not wouldn't be tossing it. <laughs> it's like down in the hole. <laughs> right? You wouldn't be throwing it into the jury box. <laughs> like you'd just be hanging out with it, like like a like a fish you caught. Right. Like, <laughs> Could you imagine if you did throw it in the jury box and one guy catches like oh, oh, and they just start throwing like a hot potato? <laughs> right. Fuck, 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 boom. Dude. Yes. That's all the I'm on I mean, I don't know who this guy is. I hope that he made it out. But I'm with the judge. I mean, I'm uh, against the judge, not the guy who was dumb enough to pull the pin. Yeah. He was just doing his job. <laughs> he was demonstrating how a grenade worked. He didn't want to be held and he in did contempt. A damn he, fucking the good judge job. asked him to do it. Yeah, he did a damn good job. <laughs> that guy <laughs> that guy will go to the the, the lengths. Right? How's that work? Well, yeah. let me show you. All right. Uh, what, evidence A or Exhibit A? Exhibit A. Yeah. There's a it. hole in the wall now. Exhibit A. And he's just pointing at it <laughs> like this. Who right? does that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, but can, just, so anyway, go back to a demonstration that I was doing that went wrong. I mean, it's. I mean, it's. I don't know how common it is, but a couple years ago, Ezra likes to mow the lawn. Because of course he does, and um, machinery, right? Machinery, loud noises, things spin. Uh, so he fucking loves it. But he could not get the lawnmower started. And I was in the middle of some other stuff. I was cleaning the garage. I was putting some tools away, working on some other project. And he's kept on coming back and forth. And he knows how to do it. Like he started the lawnmower a million times. He's like, he's like, I can't do it. I can't get it started, Dad. I'm like, ah, fuck. I'm like, put my put my tools down. I'm like, all right. Well, I was like, you know, like. I was like, you just have to pull harder. And I do this, and I just go, bah, explode it. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say you no, hit him. No. You pulled back and hit him the, again. The, 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 the pull cable. <laughs> you knock him into the ground. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Dad. He's <laughs> never asked me to start a lawnmower since. <laughs> no, but I yanked on it and then just snapped the pull cable. Mm. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. So now, not only that, if I don't know... 
if it was going to snap anyway or if I was just mad and mm-hmm. being like, you just got to fucking pull you it. You ripped it too hard. And just <laughs> snapped it. So then now I have to replace mm-hmm. uh, the little cable wheel inside of it and all that kind of stuff. The lawn, by the point. Fuck I, it, just buy a new lawnmower. Mm, I replaced it, actually. because That's I'm a, what I did. I'm a real f- I actually did do that. I ripped it. And you it was an a new old lawnmower? lawnmower. <laughs> and we need a new one anyway. I don't like fixing stuff. I like buying new stuff. <laughs> you get uh, drives my wife crazy. Rock comes up on the freeway, chips your windshield. You're like, "Fuck, new car." Yeah, mm-hmm. that's how I like. I I I like new things anyway. Like after a <laughs> while, I'm just like, "Okay, we get you know, like it's time for something new." <laughs> I, I can't believe I've been married for ten years. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? How many lawnmowers? You just have a uh-huh. graveyard of lawnmowers. <laughs> well, I I don't. I hate lawn work. Uh, your yard work so i don't really water the lawn so okay. it doesn't really grow so i don't have to mow it very often <laughs> but when i do it's just all dusty so i, I go <laughs> through just dirt i go and take a shower and there's just like an inch caked of dirt in the you, shower you're just mowing the desert yeah pretty much <laughs> uh like I, yeah i guess it reminds me of using a i'm sure other people do this too use the lawnmowers like a leaf blower pretty much when you're all done and just run along just, the sidewalk and oh i <laughs> So I'll I'll go I'll mow and I'll go the one stripe against the lawn mm-hmm. and then flip it around and blow the rest in the street <laughs> right. and then we have pine needles everywhere so I'll take my leaf blower and blow everything towards the street and kind of put it in a pile and we live on a really busy street so there's cars going everywhere mm-hmm. and so I kind of I'm kind of watching traffic and then as soon as there's like the lights just stop I just fucking <laughs> right. in the street and then just haul ass back in the house. <laughs> Your problem, bud. <laughs> yep. Because you, you know people are driving by like, that fucking guy. Probably fucking putting needles in my street. Mm-hmm. More needles in the street, More huh? More needles. That's all we need. <laughs> all we Homeless need. needles. <laughs> More fucking needles in the street. Come on. Street people come by yeah, and get they them. Come what am by I going to do with them? I'm going to sit down and fucking broom these Aren't up. Aren't they biodegradable anyway? Yeah, they're needles. Can you imagine if they weren't, how many fucking needles there would be everywhere? Yeah. And leaves, people, people, you you rake up your leaves and you throw them away. Yeah. What I heard is that you're supposed to just leave them on the lawn. Mm-hmm. They just dissolve <laughs> into the lawn and help your lawn grow. Sure. Also explains why you're mo- lawn mowing dirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sun doesn't, sun or water doesn't get to the lawn because there's, there's a listen, layer of leaves. Listen, you don't have to pick them up. Somebody told me it's going to help my lawn. And you go to your house and it's just a, like a fucking <laughs> desert. <Healthy> environment. <laughs> if I had it my way, my lawn would be all cement. Mm-hmm. Or gets the basketball court. I'm yeah, there too. That's I think. the thing, like a full a full court. Mm-hmm. I I'm tempted. And I thought about it too, because watering your lawn is fucking stupid. I hate it so uh, much. And we have a weird shaped lawn, and we don't have um, time, you know, like corn sprinklers. So we have one, and it can never hit all the angles. So you have to move it. Yeah. All I'm moving it six times a day. <laughs> Fuck! I hate yard work so Man, much. I didn't mean to fire I'm you not up. one of those dads that's like. You know, mows the lawn and like stands there and looks at it and admires it and he's kind of like, look at the stripes that I did and all that stuff. What's the Home Depot theme song? Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, he's just looking at it, admiring it, drinking a beer. I'm like, fuck the lawn, dude. (laughs) You're out of there. I hate it so much. Uh, Are you ready to show me your dick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me whip this thing out. Please do. Please show me that dick. Uh, Let's see. So this, I found this very interesting okay um you you gov they do like um you know they, they do polls uh whatever you call them uh what's the word i'm looking polls. for uh, it's, it's they do studies and they'll so they'll go out and poll people on certain uh things and a new study shines a light on the depths of delusion and wrongness in the heart of man Okay. As YouGov has released a new study on what members of the animal kingdom Americans think they can take on. <laughs> Man, this is such an American Dude, poll. It really that's the, exactly <laughs> what I thought. Of the 15 animals listed, the rat came in last place with 72%. <laughs> Who the fuck? Wait, what's the other? Who doesn't think they could beat up a rat? Well, I think because maybe of this, uh, thinking they could take on a rat, even though um, they're pretty fast. You know, maybe they figure, well, I can't catch the rat to, you know, actually engage it, Uh, I'm imagining. Um, Weird. Or that they could start a plague is basically what it says. Okay. So there's a graph in here. um, And yeah, there's 15 things. And it starts with the rat all the way down to a grizzly bear. Okay. And I found this fascinating. Um, six percent of Americans think that they can take on a grizzly bear. 
<laughs> That's six percent of gr- of Americans that have never seen a fucking grizzly bear, or the ones that they see are in a circus, <laughs> right. you know, on TV with a little. It's got a little hat on. It's like bouncing on a ball. A little propeller hat. Yeah, and it's <laughs> bouncing. <laughs> <on> the- <laughs> yeah, I can beat the fuck out of that. Yeah, thing. look at pussy. Look at pussy. He, he's never Fat been bear. to the fucking Montana or in Dude. Idaho and you, running into a grizzly bear. No, and I've never ran into a grizzly bear in the wild. I've run into black bears and brown bears, but mm-hmm. never a grizzly bear. Have you ever seen a grizzly bear out and about? Uh, not, not, not in the wild. I've seen black bear. We were driving down the road, and there was black bear just like walking down the road one time. Hey, Brian. Yeah, hey, how's it going, Brian? With a Y, <laughs> going to get some, going to yeah. get some berries. <laughs> 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 took, took a dump. Watch out. <laughs> Try to beat me up, bud. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can take me. Six um, percent. So house cat. Sixty nine percent of people think they can take a house cat. So, oh, um, dude, I'm embarrassed right now for America. Eight people, eight percent of people think they can take an elephant <laughs> and a gorilla. Eight well, percent think they can do a gorilla, an elephant, and a lion. Dude, the delusion on these people. Would you rather fight a a gorilla or a grizzly bear? That's a that's one you have to start thinking about. I mean, ugh, grizzly bears size wise both are going to kill you. Yeah, they're yeah yeah exactly. One hundred percent of the how time, you, we're going to kill I you. I could have asked you, how do you want to die? Yep. Do you want to die from a grizzly bear attack or a gorilla? Because that's how that's going to If you've go. ever seen a gorilla interact with something, they're so powerful. Silverback? Yeah. <sighs> Get Congo, remember that movie Congo? <laughs> yeah. So Silverback. scary. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So, okay. So, 8% think they could take down a, a, a gorilla. Great. Yeah. But how would you even fight an elephant? How do you win? Yeah. How do you... <laughs> oh, oh. Like, imagine oh, with a gorilla, if you if you got a strong punch, let's say you're Kimbo Slice, sure. a guy like that. Rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, R.I.P. Yeah. Right. Whatever. That's what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> I like to use acronyms. <laughs> Big acronym guy. Oh, R.I.P. Um, also rest in peace. Harambe. Yep. You got it. Um, so Harambe <laughs> in the in the, the Congo gorilla, the one that can speak, uh-huh. are fighting. Who's winning that? Uh, I don't know. Well, one of them's dead. <laughs> well, they're both dead. Oh, um, trick question. <laughs> well, what did you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, best trick question I've ever fucking had. Could've, could've anyway, been. get ready for this doozy. Trick question. <laughs> what did you just ask me? <laughs> Shit. Which is a pretty good trick question because I don't know. Yo, jokes on you. <laughs> jokes on you. You don't even know what you asked me. No, how would you take down an elephant? Oh yeah, that was what it was. <laughs> Cause like if like if you're Kimbo Slice or you're you're like let's say you're like a big dude Brock Lesnar and you yeah, you get in the ring with a fucking gorilla you're a punchy, punchy you're gonna guy. last a little bit longer but an elephant you walk up to an elephant and you punch an elephant as hard as you can it's not budging it's accidentally gonna kill you yeah it'll just like turn around to see what it was and knock you out <laughs> the elephant would be be just trying to say hi and kill you it would be it'd be washing itself with its trunk it's like. Pfft. In the water, you walk up, punch it. <laughs> you just, you just you whip its little trunk around it, and just take your fucking head off. It grabs your leg and <laughs> right. like flings you in the water and then Hand, sits on your ass. Handshake and then guess who doesn't have any arms. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's what fighting an elephant is. Okay, so who else is on this uh, this list? We got a goose. <laughs> What's good for the goose? Dude, I've had to kick a goose. You kicked a goose? Mm-hmm. It was was uh, it warranted? It you, was, I, you're, ki- you're hitting your kids, <laughs> dude, kicking geese. This, yeah, he was he was a honker. He was a honk honk. Okay. He was getting way too close. He was getting a little snippy. Is that racist? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, it's honky. Like, honky. You're right. <laughs> Honker. No. Mm. Um, maybe it is. <laughs> I don't know all my racist terms. No, but uh, it was just, it was chasing. It was trying to bite my heels and shit, and it wouldn't leave me alone, so I kicked it. And then it left me alone. So, just, I mean, <laughs> if, you, if you've learned anything from this episode, all you have to do I is have. kick the shit out of something one time. One time. <laughs> it's not going to learn its lesson. <laughs> At least that one goose did. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the other ones, they didn't care. They kept on trying to take shit from me, like my pants and my shoes. Your dignity. Mm-hmm. My dignity and my socks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. One, one more thing on the list, because I love this. This is so funny. How fucking stupid you have to be. Logan, have you ever come across a grizzly bear? No, man. Oh, yeah, I'm you're just a dumb hillbilly. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> you say grizzly bear. You mean that one tough guy at the gas station? Yeah, yeah. Good old Grizz. <laughs> Good old Grizz. <laughs> no, I don't Everybody think I knows Grizz. It. Everyone knows Grizz. Fuck, kidding me? <laughs> Ding. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell you at? It's like sea bass. It's like sits over in the corner. Like everybody knows who he is. Of course I know Grizz. Hey, old, old man Grizz in the corner. <laughs> uh, okay, look at the look at the list. Give me one more thing on there that Americans said they could they could beat up. Well, uh <laughs> large dog. This is so funny. 
Like dog isn't on there. They specified large, large dog, dog yeah. and large dog, and then eagle, <laughs> dude, house cat. I'm blown away at the amount of people that don't think they could beat up a house cat. <laughs> yeah, God, you're a pussy. Well, what's weird is like that many people think they it's can't do cat. that versus the people that think that they like the Can delusion. Do. It's so the I spectrum know. is so but, wide. But sixty nine percent of people that should be one hundred percent of people. Yeah. Should be like, yeah, I could fucking take the, take a right. cat, take a house cat down. If you can get a hand on a cat, like if you can <laughs> catch the cat, you should be able to take well, it. Well, it's not gonna, it's not weaving and bobbing. Like I can't, it's not like it's not tra training. Like, well, kangaroos are. <laughs> look, kangaroos on the list, <laughs> right? And they do that. Remember the cartoon? He had boxing gloves on. <laughs> yeah, yeah there, you've seen that video of the kangaroo in the wild, haven't you? That dude boxing it. Uh -huh. Yeah, it had his dog and he had to one up and punch it. Uh -huh. You see that video? Yeah. Uh, man, that blows my mind. It, just both sides of that. One, 6% think it could be a gorilla, and then it goes all the way back up. You don't think you could kill a rat. Yeah. Fuck you. God, you're a if piece you can of grab, shit. You, all you gotta do is grab the rat by its tail and Dude, slam it against the wall. Just kick, step on it. Yeah. If you kick it hard enough, if you... Ah! You, you could probably give it a you'd probably give it a heart attack yeah. if you scared it. Just oh, keels man. over, grow drops up, his pizza. Grow up, America. All right, well, we're going to move on to... Wait, there's actually a medium-sized dog, too. <laughs> Dude. I don't think you noticed. It's, it's a large dog, and it says medium-sized dog. <sighs> lion, li just lion is on the list, too, just so we're... <laughs> like, king of the fucking jungle, 8% uh -huh. of people think they can take that. Oh, man, they have to be... They're probably on... They're drunk or on meth. If you're on meth, you probably think you could beat up anything. Yeah. So this is... They didn't tell you that 8% of people... They went to the people on meth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course well, yeah, they Bring could. it on. Yeah. Where's, the, where's it at? <laughs> Which, bring what, it on. What, what, what they didn't tell you is they asked the meth heads, would you beat up a lion for a bag of meth? Yes. Yeah, obviously. Of course I would. <laughs> where's the lion? Where's the lion? Get, let me at him. It's in the wardrobe. <laughs> right. All right, let's move on to Petty Beef. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, Logan, fucking play it! Silence in the court. You are now entering the Petty Beef courtroom where all sides of some bullshit will be heard and evaluated. The people are real. The cases are real. The rulings are final-ish. This is Petty Beef. So perfect. All right, Logan, lay it on us. An anonymous listener thinks her husband should put his clothes in the hamper after wearing them instead of leaving it on the chairs or other random places around the house okay. so he can wear them again because they aren't that dirty yet. <laughs> What do you think, Joe and Brian? Let's get into it. Oh, thanks, Logie. I know how I feel about it. <laughs> Dude, I, something tells me we are going to be on complete opposite sides of this. Just because you're a piece of shit and I'm not. <laughs> you know wow. What, you know what I mean? Jumping right into it, huh? <laughs> All right, uh, state your case. Before, well, before we get into the fight, I want to tell our listeners that Petty Beef is just dumb arguments you've had with your roommate, your loved ones. I mean, it could be your kids. It could be, I mean, it could be anybody. And you want us to could sell? Could be a grizzly bear. Could be a grizzly bear. Fuck, fuck this grizzly bear. Mm -hmm. uh, you can send that in, and then let us decide who is right. And you can take home the bragging rights and fifty thousand dollars. Send that in to Hey Guys at Can You Don't Podcast dot com. Uh, I was kidding about the fifty thousand dollars. Okay, Brian, go. You're a piece oh, of I'm starting. Sure. Oh, because I'm the piece of shit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, I, I mean, think I think you are. I don't know for sure. Well, you're. But something tells me because of your smirk. I think this guy, I think the that guy is perfectly fine doing what he's doing. <laughs> oh, my God. I would leave you so fast. Fine. What? Fine. Move on. <laughs> See if you can find somebody else that'll take care your of themselves. And... <laughs> what? <laughs> that was such a fast jump. You just fast forwarded 60 years into the future. When, fine. When, when... <laughs> See if you can find someone else who will wipe your ass. And lick it. And lick what? <laughs> That's a good line to use against your wife. Yeah. In any tiny little... You sure you just, want a divorce? Who <laughs> you want a divorce? Who's going to wipe your ass in 60 <laughs> years? I don't know. Fucking anybody else I meet after you? Oh. Oh, the nursing home? Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm into it. Uh, You're going to have to talk somebody else into it. I'm already into you're it. Already I'm in looking it. forward to it. Man, I'm learning. That's why I got into this thing. <laughs> That's why I started dating you in the first right. place. I was going to wipe... 60 years down the road. I mean, this is the long haul. Long play. <laughs> I'm going to wipe some butts down the mm. road. Uh, okay, so you... Hang shit up. Is it? It's and it's not just laziness. You just drape shit on chairs and it's a mixture of laziness and here's my thing. I don't have a whole lot of shirts. I've got like a gray shirt, a couple <laughs> white shirts, a couple of band shirts. And if I if I wear a shirt mm -hmm. and you know, like my wife, she'll wear a shirt in one day and then throw in the hamper because she's got a closet full of shirts. Yeah. Also, because that's normal. Go ahead. Right. Apparently, <laughs> apparently I'm the asshole. 
So I've got like maybe five shirts in my rotation, something like that. Uh-huh. So if I wear a shirt, I, you know, if, I th- if I throw in the hamper, how many days are in a week, Joe? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it depends Eight on days. what day. Oh, depends on what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. I just got here. If I, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, if someone asks you a question, I don't know. I just got here. I, don't know, I just got here. <laughs> you uh, live here. What's <laughs> right? Um, if uh, so, if I if I throw clothes in the laundry. That's I'm down a shirt for the rest of the week unless mm-hmm. unless it gets washed. Now I'm not doing. I'm a man. I'm not doing laundry. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna let you continue, but okay. Fuck. I think you agree with me on that one. I don't. This is America. Go ahead. Okay. Continue on. <laughs> so if I if How I many, throw my shirt into the huh? Do you want the shovel? <laughs> yeah. Just keep going. Yeah. I'm like low, <laughs> like, <laughs> gradually getting shorter. <laughs> you just disappear into the floor. <laughs> Hey, anyway, go. anyway, I'm not doing laundry. <laughs> Just fucking whoop into a huge mine shaft. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay. So if I throw my my shirt into the laundry, I'm down a shirt already. Okay. I'm already behind the eight ball here. So I hang up the shirt like on a chair or across the TV or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you are the worst. <laughs> so it'll so it'll air out. <laughs> In case I want to wear it again the next day. Because if I throw in the laundry, now, like I said, now I'm down a shirt. But if I wore a shirt, like, let's say, like, we're doing this podcast, it's a little warm in here. I, I feel I'm getting a little, oh, see that? Look at, there's a sweat stain. Oh, I have those. That's there's why a we're sweat black. stain right here. You won't air that out, will you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, my God. We'll see. Smells uh, well, the smell test. Here, there is a test. It's like, so I'll throw it over. And the next day, if I'm going to wear it again, I'm like, I'll s- smell the armpits like, Ah, no. Now, <laughs> if it's bad enough, I'll throw it in the, the laundry. Trash. But if it's not bad enough, I don't want to put it back in the, the dresser and contaminate <laughs> the stuff that's clean in there. So I put it in like a limbo spot. It's in the middle mm, yeah. between <laughs> clean. and I might wear it again. I might not. <laughs> it's lean. Yeah. It's dirty clean. There you go. Because I guess picture you guys laying in bed trying to watch a show. <laughs> and your fucking shirt is covering. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what happened? I don't know. You won't move your shirt. <laughs> oh my god, was that that one actor? Who's I don't know. That person talking to you, right. your shirts in the way. <laughs> All you see is like a mouth and a nose because <laughs> yep. you refuse to move your shirt. Well, I, and you do the same. I mean, and it's is it? I'm guessing it's typically shirts. You're not reusing socks and shit, are you? Uh, underwear? No, not underwear. I've got okay. a lot of pairs of underwear. <laughs> socks, not cool. I've done it a couple of times with socks. If I've worn, like, I need to run the store, throw some socks on, go to the store and come back and don't want to wear socks anymore. I don't want to toss those into the laundry. Gotcha. So, you know, I'll hang them over the, the edge of the bed or something mm-hmm. to get some air to them. I can get a, a little behind this. I, I'm trying to relate to you, but going this low is hard. <laughs> <laughs> come down in the hole with me, Joe. I'm trying. But I will take socks and underwear that I've worn the day before. And wear them again the next morning to go to the gym in them. Oh, yeah. Since they're already kind of dirty. Right. Yeah. I'm just going there. I'm working out. And I don't want to just double up on socks and underwear. So I will keep the same ones. I'm like, okay, I'm going to the gym in the morning. And I'll take them and put them on the dresser. Wait, and then I wear them on. in the morning. What do you want? Are you taking off your underwear? At, are you sleeping now? nude? I sleep naked. Okay. So then you hang the underwear. Then you, if you go to the gym, you put them back on. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I'll take them off. I'll shower. And then I guess won't put those in the hamper. They'll be ready for me to go to the gym the next morning. One thing I can can relate on that one, but the rest of it's bullshit and you're done. (laughs) It's going to be like that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) There's no, I mean, how? I would, it would drive me insane. My wife uh, does not the clothes thing, but if she walks up, she's, she's good at this and I bless her heart, but there's a coat rack. And then three feet away from that, she will put the coat on a chair. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we're 16 years into that. And yeah. I will, I'll, I'm going to kill her. Like, I, I can only do this for, I don't know how many more years I can do this. There's just something about. And I just leave it. I leave it at this point. I'm like, I got, I got yeah. oh my God. Well, she wins. Okay, does she? Yeah. Cool. Well, she doesn't get to sit in that chair because her fucking coat is on it. <laughs> well, no no wor- one gets to sit the on it. The worst is when. You- cool coat. And then. Fuck. <laughs> You sit in the chair, you sit on her coat, you get up, she's like, why'd you sit on my coat? You're getting hair on my you're, coat. You're getting stuff on her coat. Well, maybe oh. your fucking coat shouldn't be <laughs> sitting on the- On the motherfucking chair! chair. I sit my ass! 
So anyway, that's a that's something that we are, we're working through. <laughs> working through that a little bit, <laughs> a little bit, um, and it's going okay. It's going okay. <laughs> Counseling is too expensive, so we're working on it on our own. Yeah, that's right. And it could all be solved if you just put her fucking coat on the coat rack. Yeah, instead of on the chair. I, uh, you know, this doesn't just end with clothes. My wife, there's something that I do like, and she'll say, she goes, "I'm leaving again." What? Not leaving you again? No, <laughs> Jesus, Brian. I. She'll say, excuse for the coat being on the chair. Oh, right. Is that she's going to be heading out again soon. So she wants the coat like there to grab it. Okay. Instead of three feet over where the All fucking right, coat is. Mr. Mr. Smarty Pants. Mr. Pick Mi- stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Put stuff where it goes. So, um, Mr. Asshole Color Guy. Oh, okay. Um, so if you, if you get a drink, do you, are you a guy that has a water cup next to my bed? Oh, no, but- no. Like next to the sink. Let's yes. say. You- Yes. You're and reusing I, you, it. I Logan can vouch for me at Bad Magic Productions. I have used the same cup for four fucking years. Yeah. And I do not wash it out. Oh, no, but kidding. do you leave it on the side of the sink? Uh, but it, it gets cleaned up. I try to, I, I, but I don't grab new ones over and over and over again. But if you go over and you get a drink of water, you take a drink, you set it off to the side of the <laughs> yes. sink. Yeah, fuck you! <laughs> Why did you leave it on the fucking counter? What? It's the same as my shirt. I don't go drape it over the TV. <laughs> I don't, I don't take I'll a move it off the TV. If we're going to use the TV. I'll move the fucking shirt, all right? I don't take a sip of my water and just put it on a chair. Like, it's going next to the sink where glasses go. Because it's what? water and I'm not wearing it. Well, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm it's not still wearing... slightly dirty. It's not dirty enough to put in the, the <laughs> dishwasher, right? What? It could be. S- but you didn't. But it's what you didn't. You're doing the same fucking thing I am. You're only, only you're doing with the glass. And you can and you another point. That you're, I mean, okay, I'll, I'll give you that point, uh, but it's bullshit. And then you talked about how you're trying to save on laundry. I bet you, if I asked your wife Amber, how like what, what's the biggest thing you could do to help with laundry? It'd be fucking do the laundry. No, <laughs> because I she doesn't want me to do laundry. You have four shirts. No, I have more than that. Do you want five? I'll give you ten. Well, bucks. no, I just went. We went to New York. I went. I'm and gonna got give a, you hundred dollars. Go buy some more. Fucking I went to shirts. Target and bought a five pack of like <laughs> just Hanes white shirts. Oh my god! Because I gain weight, and so I don't like. I have I have all these large shirts, right? Yeah. I have a lot of large shirts. Gain weight. Don't want to go out and buy new nice shirts and extra large. So I go out and buy like a, a fit pack of five or six, right? And then rotate those, and so I'm trimming back down that I can get my my other shirts again. Okay, then my rotation will expand a little bit. All right. No, I, know? I I I I appreciate that, and I know if you're coming from the other show, I have shared this story before, but I had a friend in college who d- hated doing laundry so much that he would just go buy underwear and t-shirts. I he'd, did that in college. Yeah, he'd wear the same jeans, but he'd buy those. He just wear them, and then when he was done with them, throw them away. Yeah, I wouldn't throw them away, but I wouldn't wash them for a while. Right. I mean, he would be playing the same game you would. Mm-hmm. He would wear it, and then he'd take it off, and he'd cycle through his t-shirts <laughs> until they became so fucking disgusting, he'd throw them away. Yeah. And he hated doing laundry so much. That's just. And he'd be like, well, I'm not, I have to buy laundry detergent. Well, like, I. Dude, you're a you're, lunatic. Right. <laughs> I mean, I don't wear, I don't wear, I like, the how's max the, I'll the ever wear. environment wa- t-shirt guy? The, the, <laughs> the max I'll ever wear a shirt is like twice. Like, if I want to wear it the next day around the house or do whatever. Okay. And then, and then it's like, okay. You can smell the pits a little bit. Now it's going. I'm not like, you know, a week in and it just smells like BO. Like, I, I don't Your like to be gross. gagging. Right. You walk in the <laughs> can, room. Yeah. Can we have dinner without dad tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Sit him sitting outside. Right. Stinky fucking dog. Mm-hmm. Uh, I yeah, mean, I don't, your, your glass, your glass, water glass point uh, brought me a little back in. Okay. A little bit. Logan, right. do you have anything on this? Are you a piece of shit too? Let me ask you a question, Brian. Do you fold and put your t-shirts away in a drawer or do you hang them up in a closet? Drawer. Wow. So do you not have any space? Like your wife takes all the closet space? Well, this is a whole nother thing. I don't like to hang up my shirts because I don't like the neck to get too wide and stretch <laughs> out. So okay. I stopped hanging shirts up because I always, I felt like they stretched out too much. How big are your hangers? I mean, just like a normal hanger, but the pressure, the weight of the shirt pulls it down and stretches the, stretches the neck slightly. <laughs> I don't want to have I, a wide I neck. I just find out you're tying weights to the bottom of your <laughs> <Yeah>. shirts. <laughs> just stretching. I like a I long know, shirt. I, I don't know why my neck is drunk all, all wrung out. You look down, these five pound weights tied to the bottom of your, your shirt. shirt? A V-neck now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, it's it, honestly, it, it's laziness and you know, it, it's, I'll admit that. Um, and I do, it's not that I don't do laundry. 
I'll do like I'll do I'll do laundry, but my wife doesn't want me to do her clothes because it's very specific how you wash things. Like yeah. I'll just take it all and throw it in there and wash it. And she's like, "This shirt needs to be medium cold. Way too this complex. This one for is me. this. All this kind of stuff. So if I do the laundry, I'll leave hers out. Do my clothes and the kids' clothes sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, then I I fold the laundry. I do. I I'm coming across as like a guy who doesn't do laundry, but I I do laundry. Yeah, you are. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't do it very often. I don't do it as enough as I as I should, but I also do gigantic mounds of laundry. It's because of uh, I don't do my gigantic wife. mounds of laundry. Oh, Aaron she and does. I are on yeah. like complete opposite work schedules. Like I won't see her for sometimes twelve nights in a row, like, twelve mm-hmm. days, just me and the kids, pretty much. And that laundry stack gets real big. Yeah, <laughs> it turns into a mountain. Mount. It takes more. about three hours to go through it. Um, okay, well, because this fight, <laughs> I, it it went from an anonymous listener. And turn into me and you fighting with each other. Mm-hmm. I think we have to bring Logan in, and we have to have a, a, a ruling here. And I will say, to your benefit, if I, if, we're, if I'm fucking siding with you in any way, you are saving money on water. Mm-hmm. So you're you're doing that. You're saving money on conserving. Laundry. Conserving, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Uh, and then conserving detergent. Mm-hmm. Um, so you do have that in your favor. I'm a goddamn environmentalist, <laughs> right? You're just saving the world. Yeah, Logan. I, you go? I'm going to say if it were limited to just putting it on the back of chairs and stuff like that. Okay. But once we brought in the TV, <laughs> <laughs> I think that that broke the camel's back. So I'm going to side with, uh, put your shit away. Okay. You, you, what's funny about that? Yeah, is put, like, it, put it in the laundry, put it in the laundry, put it in the laundry. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture and we'll put it up on the thing. Like there's, we have, a, there's a closet door, our main door, a TV. And so like, sometimes though, if I have workout clothes, um, during the winter or something, and I've so I've got like pants, sweatshirts. Mm-hmm. I've got a door that I hang the workout clothes over, so they're separate dirty. They're like actually dirty. <laughs> then I have because I want to wear them again because I don't have very many workout clothes. Yeah. So then, I, but then I have the other door. Um, sometimes I'll throw the shirt that I'm going to wear tomorrow over that, mm-hmm. and then I've got like a sweatshirt over the TV. <laughs> And there's so if you, when you walk in, there's just clothes draped all over. The, it looks like it looks like I did wash and didn't have a dryer, and I'm hang drying everything. Right. But they're just half used clothes. <laughs> well, you're wrong. Looks like a vintage store. It does. You're going through. It's a. It's like a Goodwill that they haven't put the shit away yet. Yeah, it yeah. smells like a Goodwill. <laughs> Good. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, if you have a petty beef that you want us to talk about, you can send that in. Once again, that email address is Hey Guys at Can You Don't Podcast dot com. We're going to look at some good news. Okay. Do you like good news? I love good news. Good. Logan does too. Logan. So you're telling me there's a chance. Hooray. We aren't doomed. Yeah! <laughs> Fucking love that line. Yeah! yeah! And this is really cool. I'm not going to le- read the whole thing, but you know rapper J. Cole? Have you heard of him? I've heard of him. Okay. Yeah. Same. I mean, same with me. I, I know that he is a successful rapper. But J. Cole attends fans' college graduation years after keeping promise to show up to her school ceremony, her high school ceremony. So he was on a on a radio show, and this girl called him and was a huge fan, and he said, hey, let's meet up afterwards, and whatever, I'll, we can talk and we can meet. So it turns out that she has gone through some shit. Her parents, she got was put up for adoption because her parents are drug and alcohol, you know, uh, users and lost her kid. So she was going through shit. So J. Cole promised her that if she kept her grades up and graduated from high school, that he would go to her high school graduation. So she did that. And then he went to her high school graduation. And then when he was there, he said that if you graduate from college, I will go to your college graduation. Wow. And she worked it, uh, worked it all the way through and graduated from college. And J. Cole showed up. And I just love... That keeping keeping your word with yeah. stuff like that, uh, it's important to me. Uh-huh. Like if I say I'm going to do something, uh, unless like there's a fucking like a big reason as to why I didn't do it, I'm going to do it. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm not gonna. I don't like throwing things around all loosey goosey like that. And it's great to see someone who has won Grammys, yeah, and could easily just be like, hey, I'll be there. And fucking never do it, never see her, or talk to her again. Uh, but it meant a lot to her. It showed her that uh, you know people care about her, um, and we don't have a, a household that showed you what it's like to have people keep their word. Uh, that's very important to have people like that in your life. So that's really that's really really cool. Yeah, I mean, someone I know I, I don't know J Cole, but I know he's a, a massive star. Right. So the idea that he w- would do something like that is pretty freaking cool. Yeah, um, it makes me think of the Michael. 
the Scott's Tots thing. Oh, when he where, when he promised everyone. Yeah, and was, then he got them laptop batteries. <laughs> but it was like, <laughs> I his the spirit was there. Like he wanted to help in a like, but he actually came through. Mm-hmm. Did did he happen to help her with college or anything, or was it? I think it just showed up. It didn't say in this article that I have right here if he did any like help, but I mm. think she had scholarships and, and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Which I mean, I feel like that's enough. Yeah. It, you don't have to be like, hey, if you make it to college, I'm going to pay for everything. Mm-hmm. I think just being there and being a, a goal on the other side, and then when it happened, mm-hmm. putting whatever projects you're doing aside and showing up and doing it, I think that's really it's really cool. So hats off to you, J. Cole. Do you think she ever thought that he would actually go through with it? I don't know. I mean, imagine like she was a superstar. So I'm guessing she holds him uh, very high and would hope that he would do it. And I'm glad that he did. Yeah. Because that would have been fucking if you. Oh, man. And there's so many, you know, there's so many celebrities out there that do like that, do stuff like that. um, And then they never show up and it just fucks people up. She gets her thing and she's like, no one is there. Uh And she's just waiting for him. And she's looking around. He's not there. Right. So that's good on him. Yeah. Good for you. New fan. J. Cole got a new fan. Let's Um, go check out some music. I know. Gotta go go take a, take a listen. I, and then I'm gonna show you something that is cool on the internet that I found. You ready to to do it? Okay. Logan, play the sounder. The internet is pretty wild. Depending on your browsing habits, you can either experience something super cool or go to prison. Crazy, right? Let's check it out together as a couple. Hey, look what I found. Yes! That's awesome! Yes! (laughs) So as you can guess, hey, look what I found is basically just things that we found um, um, online that don't fit in the other segments. Not articles, typically products. Sometimes they're just dumb, funny videos. But this one, this week, is actually a helpful website. And it's called 10 Minute Mail. So you know when you're signing up for different dumb streaming services or trying to get account verified, Mm -hmm. and you don't want to give these guys your actual email address because you know they're going to spam you for the next 400 years? Oh, 10 Minute Mail. 10MinuteMail.com will give you a temporary email address, and then you can access the inbox. So you go to 10 Minute Mail, you copy this email address, go over to whatever it is that you're doing. You're like, I'm doing this one time. I'm never gonna, I'm never coming back. You do that, and then once you send it off, the inbox thing will light up and say you have mail. And click on it, you go in, verify your email address, and then away you go. That's amazing. Yeah, I know. So and you, you don't have add- to go in and create account, no nope. fake email account. Right. So this will just this will just set it up. It's just a jumble of letters and bullshit. And allows you to verify your account and move on with your move on with your life. I so, thought that was so helpful and super cool. Could you do that with, uh, let's say, you're trying to get a promo code? You know, you're out of. Um, I mean, maybe I haven't. I haven't tried it. You're just getting coupon after coupon <laughs> after coupon. But you have to go buy shit because they're not going to let you combine it. So I guess if you want to buy six hundred white packs of or six packs of white t-shirts, like you do, <laughs> then maybe this will help. You. Save twenty bucks on two hundred <laughs> shirts. <laughs> It's a steal. I won't have to do laundry for a year. Fifteen dollars on four hundred t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Just spent four grand on t-shirts. What's the most you've ever spent on a shirt? On a shirt? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. A dress shirt. So maybe hundred and something bucks. Cool. <laughs> what? Did you throw up? <laughs> no, but it's like a, like a nice nice dress shirt. No, I'll go with a t-shirt. Oh, yeah, that's kind of what 25, I think. 25 bucks? Yeah. Something like that, 25, 30 bucks. Maybe if you're at a concert, 40 bucks. Oh, yeah. Because they charge them, they upcharge them a billion dollars. I've spent so much money on concert shirts. Mm-hmm. When you're at the concert and you see a shirt, like you don't, you go to the ATM. You're you like, know, I got you. Yeah. I got to have that shirt. Uh-huh. And uh, then I never wear it. <laughs> it's sitting in a box somewhere. It's hanging on a TV somewhere. I, I, <laughs> I have You're probably monster. 50 band shirts that I just don't wear anymore that are in a tote right now. <laughs> that Someone's like, want you to get that woven into a, a blanket. Okay. I'm like, what if I want to wear it? Yeah. Well, you haven't worn it in 20 years. <laughs> I might want to. I might want to. And if it's a blanket, I can't wear it. It's right. Like, <laughs> so you're taking away my options. I could wear one band shirt and show off one band shirt, or I could wear the blanket around mm-hmm. and show off like 10, All the band 15, shirts. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to sign up for anything and just beat the spam, head over to 10minutemail.com. I guess I thought that was, uh, that that's was super fantastic. cool. That's good super on cool. them. Good for yeah. them. So good job, smart programming guy. That's way cooler than anything I've ever done. Isn't it amazing what people think of? Yeah. Because we, we know we've up. had that conversation like, oh, I'm sick of, you know, doing blah, blah, blah. And someone's like, 
I have a brain. <laughs> right. I could figure I have this a brain out. and some fingers. Yeah. Let me tap tap my way to and success. And some motivation. <laughs> right. It's a mo- all things I don't have. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Brain, fingers, and motivation. So many things. I could I could have been a billionaire if I would have just gotten off the couch. <laughs> you know, yeah. when you're in your, like at night when I sleep, I'm, I'll think of a, an idea for a video or something. And I have to think like, is this worth opening my eyes and <laughs> risk not going back to sleep? Yeah. I have to have that process. Mm-hmm. Is this funny enough for me to open my eyes and lose sleep? Mm-hmm. And the answer is? No. It depends. It depends. It depends on it, yeah. <laughs> well, before we wrap up the show today, I have a surprise for you. Oh. Because you've never done any podcast ever. Okay. Uh, and you really loved the knife that I have oh, in my no. pocket. So I bought you an illegal knife. You didn't. I did. Check this out. It's for you. Oh, my God. Is it one of the ones that? Yes. <gasps> Pokey stabbies. Um, Wait, is it gonna? Is some gonna jump out and, and stab me? Is the knife gonna open, open up? You open it up. It's a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> he just has a pin. It's like pull me. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a way to wrap up the show. Episode, episode two. two. Episode two. We just blow ourselves up with the a grenade. The house is destroyed. Everything. Look at that. Oh, look, look at this. Has his own for ca- the folks at home. <laughs> there. It's own carrying case. What, dude? And that's one thing it's, I, I want to talk about. It's Velcro with some of these products out there. Because there's there's tons of them things that you buy that come with a carrying case. Yeah, I'm not putting <laughs> it back in this bag right. ever. Don't make it. Oh, like, don't make this. I've got some stuff like when I bought my camera equipment. Oh yeah, and they'll send you like, why? <laughs> right. What would I ever do with right. that? Like, um, all this equipment that you see in the studio here, you buy it and then it comes with a travel case. Yeah, it's like I'm not cruising around with these fucking like. Yeah. Let me buy that additionally. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe I need to have a travel case for my light stands. But the average person is setting up the lights, and they're going to stay where they're at. Well, you know what they probably do? And they work that into the price, so you're paying more for they the camera. Know. And so they don't care about And the you're whole- getting stuff you don't want. And they don't, compare, they don't care about the whole thing going to the landfill. All right. Please don't stab yourself. I'm not going to. So get this on camera, Logan. <laughs> Check this out. Oh. <laughs> oh. And if you're watching on YouTube right now, don't call the cops. That's really all we got. That is sweet. Let's see. Do you have yours? Yeah, I got mine. Should we do like a... This is riveting riveting audio entertainment. Ready for this? Oh. <laughs> ching, 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 ching. <laughs> now they're all dull. That's sweet. There you go. So every so time, whenever, whenever I come you over and see Joe, he's always got his knife in his pocket, mm-hmm. strapped in his pocket. And I used to have a, like a Swiss Army knife on my keychain. And when I, I flew to uh, Seattle... And the oh. guy was like, you can't take this. And I was like, oh, I'm not going back to my car. And so I had to give it to him. him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> oh, you, you, you sure about that? <laughs> right. Oh, it's got a window breaker on it too. Yep. So if, if you're drowning and have to get a, a stab of fish. Yeah. <laughs> you're all set. All set if you're trapped in your Trying car and hungry. Trying to eat while you're drowning. <laughs> Can you damn it, go for a nice can fish you breathe right now? through the gills of a <laughs> sure. fish? I don't know. I've That's never, how they breathe, right? Never tried. They don't have lungs, though. <laughs> okay. This is falling apart. Right. But there you go. Enjoy your night. We don't know about biology. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Logan. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. You guys got it. Producing and directing. Again, we have Can You Don't merch available right now at Can You Don't Pod- Easy. <laughs> can You Don't Podcast.com. Go check it out. Buy it. Support it. Uh, uh, support us. Don't support the shirt. That'd be weird. If you buy it, support and it gets the like, shirt. You're like, I support your shirt. <laughs> no, it supports us and it goes a long way. So thank you. Uh, head over and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Just search for Can You Don't Podcast. That'll bring it up. And then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to YouTube, type in Can You Don't Podcast. Can I say something real quick? No. Uh, uh, if you ever want to see something on the show, email that in to hey guys at can you don't podcast.com. You want to say? Go ahead. Uh, if you got to rate and review the show, <laughs> Wherever you can listen to podcasts, wherever you do listen to podcasts, and allows you to review like Spotify, allows you to do what Apple does, I think Google does, then go ahead and do that. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> According to the script, you should be done. I am done now. Go ahead. I just wanted to say um, <laughs> uh, thanks to all the, uh, well, whatever, I don't know what we're going to call them, but uh, the, the old dummies, mm-hmm. they've been very welcoming and very inviting. Um, I was really surprised. I was worried I was going to say like, hey, I'm doing this show, and they were going to be like, fuck you, you're not Dan. <laughs> right. They've been saying you're not my dad, which is right. fine. I don't, you know. <laughs> I'm not. But they're going to be calling me daddy soon enough. Jesus Christ. Uh, really, that, we're going to get death threats. Yeah, I, I'm going to put that knife away. It has away. a nice feel to it, It huh? does. I, it feels... <laughs> there's a little delay after you push it. Like, it's going to work. Oh! Oh, shit. Um, but anyway, I want to say thanks to all that. They've been very inviting, and it's been really cool. I'm excited to get this going and mm-hmm. get to know y'all on a Personally. personal level. <laughs> I mean, and... Just... Uh, 
God damn. Yeah, I'm really I'm really jacked. I was I was excited about doing the show, but I was really nervous and now I'm just excited because mm-hmm. it's like okay they accept me so, they accept me as one of them and then whoever your viewers are they don't know who i am thanks for accepting me D- well they i don't think they have yet cool so let uh, me let me let me i'll be the judge of that <laughs> cool well i'll try my best okay we look alike we do god damn that we? we've been getting a lot of comments yeah, about that it's creepy all right let's wrap this shit up all ready right. all yeah. right logan <laughs> good god wrap it up already huh and this could be just a thought-provoking thing that we wrap the show up with. Could be a dad joke or could be a neat fact of some sort. This week, uh, it's a dad joke. What do you call a chicken that stares at lettuce? Chicken sees a salad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wrap oh. it up. We'll see you guys next week. Bye! Bye! Bye.